College Football Imperialism in CFB 25 is back. This is part four. This is what the map looks like. If you haven't seen the first three parts, go ahead, click on this video, go back to my channel, watch the first three parts. It'll get you updated. We have 103 teams to go. Start out by spinning the wheel, as always. First team selected is Old Dominion. Interesting. They have not played a game yet. They're over here in this Virginia, North Carolina, like, mash of teams looks like they're gonna go northeast to start this off they're gonna go to maryland oh boy that could be interesting old dominion at maryland in game one odu is a 74 overall the terps are an 80 overall. We've seen Maryland play a good bit already. I keep forgetting to do this. I have to. I need to go back to my like, main settings and make sure I'm on however many quarter lengths. Six minutes. Six minute quarter lengths. We've seen this walk out a couple times already. This is, this is, okay. Screwed up already. Screwed up. Okay, just gonna kick off. Can't do anything about it. Okay, touchback. Whatever. Let me, please let me sim through this. I do not want to play this game. There we go. Okay. Almost, almost screwed that up. Not too much going on in the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero after one. A little bit surprising. Maryland does take a 3-0 lead. That'll be the score at halftime as well. Turpins come out of halftime. They score a touchdown to take a 10-0 lead. Old Dominion cuts into it. Three-point lead for the Mar for Maryland. Now Old Dominion with the lead. Now Maryland back with the lead. They're up by six. And they're going to hang on. 17 second half points for Maryland. Really, really close game. But Terrapins hang on to this one. Roman Hemby, ball game from him. Much closer than it should have been. Old Dominion had a lead late in that game. So the Monarchs will be eliminated after their first game. And now Maryland's sort of creeping around Liberty. Surround them on three sides. Liberty's in sort of like a triangle. Terrapins have played a lot of games and they've won them all. So that's either a testament to them being in a weak area of college football or they're just playing well in sim or they're getting lucky. I don't know. Next team is Arizona. We haven't seen Arizona play. This will be interesting. They're down here. BYU took out Arizona State a while ago, um, but the Wildcats could beat or could play SCSU, BYU, or New Mexico State. If it points down here into what would be Mexico, uh, I gotta respin it. Or or wait unless they hit Hawaii. I don't think it did. It went past that island. Sometimes I forget about Hawaii. This arrow is going to point them northwest, which will take them to BYU. This could be interesting. We've seen one game at BYU. I do like their stadium. There we go. So Arizona is an 87 overall. And BYU's an 80 with a 75 offense. <laughs> My bets are on Arizona, but we'll see. They are conference foes now. Welcome to Provo, Utah. Creepiest mascot. Well, Osmo's one of the creepiest mascots in all of college football. I did not... I need to click that button again. Okay, I have to kick off. 
Whatever, it's another touchdown back. I'm trying not to do that again. Come on, come on. Alright. Here we are in Sim. Arizona takes a 3-0 lead in the first quarter. BYU ties it up at 3. Right before halftime, Arizona scores a touchdown. So now they're up by 7 points. Now they're up by 14. 20-3. 20-10. BYU cutting into it. Down by 3. Now they lead. Now they're down by 3 again. And Arizona managed to pull it off. 21 fourth quarter points from BYU. It got them the lead for a little while. But no Fafita and Arizona were able to get it done. But Arizona is going to take over the rest of their state as well as most of Utah. At least southern Utah. I think they have the most the most square territory. Although Colorado's up there, they've got Wyoming. That's pretty square. Nowhere else do we see like a nice square. Arizona's a rectangle. It's a rectangle ish. Screw that up. My bad. Oh, Kansas State. That's a perfect square, pretty much. What am I talking about? <laughs> Arizona stays. BYU goes. Sad to see the Cougs leave this early. Although we're not that early anymore. We've played 33 games. Louisiana is now selected. They played their first game last episode against Tulane. They did manage to win. Eliminated to Tulane. Down here they could play... Every team in Louisiana, as well as Houston and potentially Southern Miss. We'll see where the arrow takes them. It takes them down into the Gulf. There's nobody for them to play in the Gulf, so got to respin. And that should take them to Houston. This is a game that I think should be more of a rivalry. Houston and Louisiana. They're both schools of similar sizes. I think. Uh, Houston might be. I don't know. Actually, don't know. They played in a bowl game the other or two years ago. I think they played in the Independence Bowl. It was a really good game. Both teams are seventy nine overall, by the way. Um, I feel like it could be a rivalry if they were in the same conference, but Houston. Moved on to the Big 12, and Louisiana seems pretty content in the Sun Belt. Although, if they got an invitation, they probably would take it. It's a nice little stadium, I guess. Drove past it one time. 14 0 Houston leads. ULL cuts into it, but Houston extends the lead. 14 point favor for the Cougs at halftime. Louisiana still hanging around. Only down by 7, now down by 10. Too little too late from the Raging Cajuns. Cut it to a 3 point lead, but not able to get it done. So, Houston moves on. These, these away uniforms are kind of clean from Houston. Houston's probably my second or third favorite team. I don't have a whole lot of bias for them, so you're not you're not going to see a whole lot of Houston bias in this video or this series. But I do root for the Cougs. They used to be my G5 team, but now that they've moved to the Big 12, they're just another team I root for, which the list isn't that long. But I do like the Cougs. I also root for Wisconsin sometimes. 
have a favorite team in every conference, but I don't need to lay it all out right now. Louisiana eliminated, got taken down at home, and we have 100 teams to get through here. Akron is the next one. That's interesting. They're way up here. They haven't played a game yet. They could play Ohio State, Kent, Toledo, maybe maybe Miami. They're going to head southeast. That'll take them into Buckeye territory. Akron's a 73 overall, and Ohio State's a 93 overall. So uh, you probably know how this is going to go. Although I think in one Imperialism I did, Akron actually did beat Ohio State. It was just some sim. It might not have been Imperialism. I don't know. But I've seen it happen before. Not in this game, though. I actually haven't seen the Ohio State presentation yet in this game. I've mostly just played Dynasty, and I haven't gotten to play a whole lot. Only in my second year. I'm doing a, a private Dynasty. 27-7 to 7 in the third quarter. Ooh, speaking of Dynasty, I will do a College World 25 Dynasty on this channel. After this series, Ohio State wins by 20 points. After this series. If you want to help me decide what team I'm going to choose, on if you go to my channel and you go over to the Community tab, I'm in my top 8 right now. Go vote for a team you think I should keep. At the end of the, each poll, which should be like 24 hours, it's not 100% accurate, but I will be eliminating the least voted team. So... By the end of the series, I should have a team I will be doing my first YouTube Dynasty with in this game. But if you want to have any sort of influence on that, go ahead, click over to the Community tab, vote for a team you think I should keep. It's just like two, three clicks. Finish this video first. <laughs> Finish this video first. Utah will be the next team selected. Their rivals to the south have been eliminated. They could play a couple different teams here. Where's the wheel? Google. There we go. Um, no, they're gonna. They're just gonna straight up take on Arizona here. Could be interesting. I think my prediction is that Utah is going to absolutely roll. Well, maybe not. They're going to roll through the Big 12. I don't know if they play Kansas State. If they do, that should be a fun game. I think it'll be Utah or Kansas State winning the Big 12 this year. Arizona's got a shot. They're probably fourth, though. I'd say Utah, Kansas State, then Oklahoma State. And then Arizona. Those are my top four candidates to win the Big 12 in that order. Four decades. If things get a little tough around Tucson, only two Someone got mad at me one time. I think I called them the wrong name. The They're the Wildcats. Maybe I called them the Bearcats or something. I think it was my Arizona preview for last season. I called them the Bearcats. Because in... Um, NCAA 14, their field says Bear Down. I thought they were called the Bearcats. They are pretty much rolling over Utah right now. It's 31 to 15 in the fourth quarter. 38 to 15, 38 23. Oh, that wow. Was rough showing there, Destroyed but them. Find a way to get things going and come up with the win. Just got outplayed, Reese. They were Maybe Arizona's offense is going to be sneaky good. The Wildcats head north for their second win in this episode. They've taken over nearly the entire state of Utah.
Utes are eliminated. I do like that older Utah logo I had on the map more than the new one. Minnesota is the next team. I think it has a bit more character than the uh, the two U's that they use now, I think. Oh, man, this is... It's going to be Iowa or Iowa State. If I try to center it in the logo, and I go straight down as the arrow is pointing, I think it's going to be Iowa State. Oh, boy. Iowa State, this has been weird for them. They've got the entire state of Missouri, half of Iowa, as well as Memphis and Vanderbilt. It's just looking really funky. And now, another play for the entire state of Minnesota. They're the home team, so they've got something going for them. But Minnesota's not, they're not great. I mean, they're solid. What are they, an 82 overall? Okay, so the Cyclones are actually favored here. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack Price Stadium in Ames, Iowa, where the Cardinal and here we go. Iowa State goes down the field, kicks the field goal to take the first lead, but Minnesota scores a touchdown and another one to get a lead. Up by 11, the Golden Gophers now. 21 to 10 at halftime. 31 to 10 at the end of the third quarter. 34 17. 34 24. And Minnesota rolls out of Ames with a 10 point win. Wow. Wow. Oh boy, this territory is going to look funky. I was thinking you made it a long way, but not long enough. The Golden Gophers took him down. At home, too. Let me see if I can reinforce this border here real quick. Wrong color. If I don't do this, then the next time I autofill this whole thing, it's gonna it's gonna break a lot of stuff. It doesn't affect any of the gameplay or the way the map looks at all. But there we go. Oh boy, Minnesota. Going from uh, Canada down to Tennessee, almost Mississippi. Where do I put it? I think the most centered spot is probably about there. Maybe a little bit higher. Looking really strange. Just looking really strange. Minnesota will stay on the wheel. And Iowa State, they're gone. 97 teams to go now. Southern Miss, no, it'll be South Carolina. The Gamecocks, they're out here. They haven't played a game yet. They got a pretty gnarly opponent if they go a little bit northwest. I hope they 
try to avoid them. They do. They're going to head south and play at Georgia Southern. Tune-up game for the Gamecocks. Or not, I don't know. Maybe Georgia Southern is going to show up. South Carolina is an 84 overall. Georgia Southern in a 74 overall. Welcome to Statesboro, I haven't seen a game at Georgia Southern either. Might as well tune in for their little... Run out. Those are some ugly colored hats. Interesting. So I haven't actually seen Georgia Southern's stadium, at least in a football video game, because they weren't in the video game at the time of NCAA 14's release. So they had to use an alternate stadium. I think it was Ohio's. Um, I did expect for this to be a tune-up game for South Carolina, and it has shown to be exactly that. They're up by 41 points, and... That'll be the margin of victory. 48 to 7 completely dominated Georgia Southern. I will not get to see this stadium again in this series. Gamecocks taking over a pretty sizable area. It's almost centered, I guess. Very, very odd map. Very odd map. But you never get anything that looks super good or super clean after you start one of these. At some point, everything just starts to look really funky. We're going to get San Diego State as our next team. They're the Aztecs in San Diego. They're out here... They got a couple teams that could play, a couple of really good teams that could play in comparison to them to the to comparison to themselves. UCLA, Southern Cal, and Arizona. If you haven't noticed already, I do like to say Southern Cal instead of USC. Just, I just think it sounds better. Um, that will actually be who SDSU is going to play. Be. Southern Cal Trojans. I haven't seen them play yet in this game. They are in 87 overall. I really like SDSU's helmets. The detail is crazy. SDSU is a 76 overall. If we get another game in the north or midwest ish, I'll I'll throw in some snow. The audio is a little bit choppy, I know. Today a golden state flashes. Two teams from the state of California try to claim some bragging rights. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the San Diego State Aztecs, taking on the 25th ranked team of the land, the USC Trojans. That's pretty cool. Not super realistic because USC is never going to fill their entire stadium up. Could be number one in the country. They are not selling this place out. They do take a 7 0 lead early on. 
It'll hold for a while until they kick a field goal. And at halftime, Southern Cal leads by 10. They come out of halftime. Now going into the fourth quarter, USC 31, SCSU 17. That score does hold. Yes. Southern Cal gets away with the win. SCSU didn't score until the second half. Just not enough from them. There we go. I'm going to play how many more games? SGC's gone. Two more games here. That'll make it to 10. Toledo will play. Okay, so this will probably be our snow game. Toledo's up here. They haven't played a game yet. They're just chilling. Actually, did they play? I don't think they did. I don't think so. They're going to head south and play Miami, Ohio. This will be a MAC conference game. Also, I'll make it a snow game. Miami is an 80 overall. I'd say they're favorites to win the conference. Toledo is a 79 overall. Toledo's QB, who I liked, transferred to Baylor. Could make Baylor just a little bit better, but I think Deverian is probably going to get fired this year. They are just not going to be competitive enough. Welcome to the House Roethlisberger built. Oxford, Ohio, on the campus of Miami University. Really, the house that Roethlisberger built? That's crazy. Alright, Miami. 3 nothing lead early. Now a 6 nothing lead. Two field goals. Toledo with two touchdowns takes an 8 point lead. 21-6 now. Toledo doing pretty well. Miami kicks another field goal. It is just not enough from them at all. Toledo up 31-9. That score will hold to the final whistle, and Miami just completely shut down Toledo, not giving up a touchdown, walking away with a big win over Miami. Miami previously beat Bowling Green, that's why the territory is expanded already. Can't make this rocket much wider, but it'll it'll fit in there. Nice. Looking pretty good from Toledo. This is what the map's looking like. If you're enjoying the series and you have subscribed already, please, please hit the subscribe button. Like the video, comment, all that stuff. I read every comment. Um, I'm 45 sub subs away from 1K. I've been working towards my 1,000 subscriber goal. For two and a half ish years since I started this, it's been my biggest goal 1k and 45 subscribers away. So, if you could hit that button if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, let's keep this going. We've got one more game here Toledo staying on the wheel, Miami is eliminated, Red Hawks are off the wheel. Maybe I'll do two more games. I don't know. We'll see how this last one goes. It'll be FSU. They haven't played yet. They're down in the Florida Panhandle. Bunch of teams they could play. Um, nobody nobody in that general direction. So we're going to have to re-spin that. 
fish arrow also pointing mostly into the gulf can't use that one either or that one or that one come on no this is crazy did I break it oh there we go there we go FSU is gonna play at Florida took me like 10 15 spins FSU at Florida man that's a that's a rivalry I would like to to go to Florida Florida State I think I'd rather go see it at Florida Sunshine Showdown. Got to make sure we're, I've got six minute quarters here. I haven't seen the Swamp presentation yet. I'm going to sit through this one. Welcome to the Swamp, the giant that the head ball coach awakened. Touching the Gator head. That was in the trailer. Only the Gators get out alive. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the All chomping at the bit. See this one. I've been to the swamp. That was when Anon played there. I think the last time Anon played there. Like 2017. We won. Now we're playing them in back to back years. No, not back to back. Yeah, we played them. We played them two seasons ago. We'll play them this year and next year. And uh, the Gators are absolutely dominating. They're up 31 to 7 at halftime. FSU is trying to cut into it. But the Gators are. Well, it's a seven point game now. Okay, FSU tied it up. FSU tied it up. Florida. Florida kicked a last second field goal to walk it off. Wow. FSU almost pulled off an insane comeback there at the end. Florida, Florida finished it off. 250 yards and four tidies from Graham Mertz. Okay. Okay. 41 to 38. Wow. Let's see this map. There go the Knolls. I'd love to see all these rivalries played in person, but I have AM games are my bigger priority, and there's never a time where they're not playing. And I don't know. Anyway, I think I think I'm gonna leave it off there. That's a great way to end it. We're gonna take FSU off the wheel. Ninety three teams to go. Starting next episode. Let me try to go over everything that happened. Um, Southern Cal beat SDSU. Arizona beat BYU and Utah. Um, Houston beat Louisiana. Minnesota beat Iowa State. FSU beat Florida. South Carolina beat Georgia Southern. Old Dominion lost to Maryland. Toledo beat Miami, Ohio. Ohio State beat Akron. And I believe that was it. Pretty good. Pretty good little series so far. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Again, so close to 1K subs. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, peace.